fourth pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars took the LSU product, Leonard Fournette. After watching the Dallas Cowboys take Ezekiel Elliott fourth overall the year before and watching his instant success and how he turned over the franchise along with their rookie mate, Dak Prescott, the Jaguars were kind of motivated. The Jaguars had a really good defense in 2016, and it was only going to get better. And they had a below-average offense run by Blake Bortles and a below-average offensive line and obviously a below average coaching staff, and fell with that fourth pick, why not get a running back that can stabilize the offense and ground and pound and drain the clock, and when the defense is on the field, they get the turnover, and then just hand it off to Leonard Fournette. It was a great idea, great game plan, and it worked for the first year. Defense wins championships, and a running game helps it. Unless you're the Green Bay Packers and have a good quarterback, bad defense, or the Kansas City Chiefs. Bad defense, good quarterback. So, if we look at the past good quality championship caliber teams, we've seen they've had a good and elite defense and an above average running game. And I'm not just saying the running game has to be fantastic. I'm just saying it's above average. It's serviceable above three and a half yards of carry, not a lot of fumbles. And that's exactly what the Jacksonville Jaguars were in 2017. A defense that shut down the opposing offense, and forced turnovers. And Leonard Fournette wasn't nothing amazing in 2017, but he was serviceable and got the job done to carry them to the AFC Championship and ultimately was one play away from a Super Bowl appearance. So now, fast forward three years, and after Leonard Fournette is going into his contract year, the question is now changed. It's not how much Better will Leonard Fournette get as it transfers from 2017. It's will he be a Jacksonville Jaguar? Him and Yannick Nagakwe are the only real standout pieces from 2017 still on the roster, other than Telvin Smith, who is, you know, taking his time off or whatever in his own allegations. But other than that, it's just him and Yannick Nagakwe. Supposedly, Yannick Nagakwe has not changed his mind on his exit from Jacksonville Jaguars. And Leonard Fournette is still very, very young, and he still has that potential to be that Ezekiel Elliott esque type. But people failed to accept that Leonard Fournette was not the best for his value. He had a 1,000-yard season his rookie year and in 2019, but he's had a, a absurd amount of carries to do so. It's not like he could go and get a 20-yard carry, a 60-yard carry every game. He was grounding and pounding three, four yards of carry with only an average of about one to two plays that he took for 10 plus yards. And every five games, according to Pro Football Focus, he had a breakout carry of 30 or more, which is insane. In 2017, he was top five in carries and wasn't even top five in yards. And his player efficiency rating was below 50, which is for a running back, that's bad. If you're, if you're a running back and you're inefficient, that is the worst thing a team can have. But he fitted, he fit, not fitted, English is terrible. He fit the system or fit the need for the Jacksonville Jaguars. A guy that can just get the ball and take the hits and take the grounding and pounding. So there's been a lot of trade rumors for Leonard Fournette and places we should go. A lot of people are saying, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Tampa Buccaneers, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But there's a lot of different places you can go and a lot of different, you know, pieces that he can fit into and what I mean by pieces you're like you mean a team no pieces he could fit into he can fit into a system like the Jacksonville Jaguars a good defense and just give him the ball he can also fit in a system like the Chargers where it's a two to three running back duo or mesh where you split carries like the Chargers did with Melvin Gordon and Austin Eckler or if the Broncos are going to do with Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay he can fit multiple different systems and be a piece in something. He can be a piece in a contending team, or he can be a contributor on an average team like he's been on the Jacksonville Jaguars. He has an option to choose. People say he has no choice where he gets traded. He is on his own will, because the Jaguars will happily keep him, develop him. Or he can choose his way out and choose where he wants to go, and plus he's a free agent at the end of the 2020 season. So he can, once again, choose. The reason why I don't see him fitting in with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is because of that option. The running back position for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers has always been a question. And what I mean it's always been a question, it's always been 
you know, who's the number one for this week, who's the number two for this week, and then the very next week, there may be a new running back on the roster or a new starting running back. It's never been a, you know, fortified position for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers since Doug Martin left. As a Cowboys fan, everyone's been saying that he's going to go to the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's why I will debunk that. If the Eagles want a running back, it is so, so efficient to just go sign one, bring back a guy like LaShawn McCoy, maybe go out and sign a guy like Devontae Freeman. They shouldn't give up pieces for a guy that's going to split carries with Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is a great running back. He's not an elite running back, but Miles Sanders is definitely their franchise piece. Yes, the Eagles do use multiple running backs, but that's why you go and sign a guy like LaShawn McCoy or a guy like Devontae Freeman. Or use some of you guys on your practice squad roster, like a guy like Boston Scott like you had last year, or maybe a guy like Josh Adams and all those guys that they've used, and Corey Clement. They shouldn't have gone and give out pieces to a team that has a lot of pieces and a team like the Philadelphia Eagles that doesn't have a lot of trade assets, trade assets and give it all up. Because if you give up, let's say, a fourth-round pick for Leonard Fournette, he could very well easily leave. He could also bring you great production. And when you have a guy like Miles Sanders and Leonard Fournette giving you great production and you have to feed him and feed him and feed him, that's going to take away from Carson Wentz. That's going to take away from that offense that they have. So you have to pick your poison. If you're an Eagles fan and you want Leonard Fournette, I have to ask you that question. It, it, then why is Miles Sanders so good? Everyone says Miles Sanders is just as good as Zeke. Then why do you want Leonard Fournette so bad? That offensive line lost a lot with the injuries to this season and age. Just like the Cowboys. We lost Travis Frederick to retirement and age. Tyron Smith is getting older. Zach Barnes is getting older. You know, Connor Williams in the left guard position is injured, and we don't know how stable he's going to be after an ACL injury. The only real question or real, you know, I should say the not question, but the only real you know confidence as a Cowboys fan we have at the offensive line is Leo Collins. Once again, for the Eagles, the only you know confidence you guys have is Lane Johnson. Everyone else has heard, and you could say Kelsey, but I always thought Kelsey was one of the more overrated centers in football. So without that solidified running offensive line. Miles Sanders may as well struggle. And Leonard Fournette hasn't had a good offensive line to work with. His LSU running offensive line was meh. Um, it's definitely changed since he's left. But the Jaguars had an average offensive line. They had a lot of money invested. And it certainly worked for two and a half seasons because in 2018, Leonard Fournette was injured all year long and didn't even play all half of a season. So I say two and a half just to give him the benefit of the doubt. And that's another thing. The Eagles are already filled with questionable health concerns with their starting quarterback, for example, with their offensive line, with their secondary. So why do you want a running back that has the injury question? You guys can play it about always being injured, and that's your main excuse. Well, then don't get a running back, and then use him as an excuse when you run a game. It's non-existent. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It wasn't the most entertaining, I guess, but today I just wanted to talk about Leonard Fournette because he was one of my favorite players watching him in football or college football. And he was very exciting to watch back in 2017. Him pop off those three and a half yard, four yard carries, just trucking everybody, fighting out why the Jacksonville, G Jacksonville Jaguars defense bowed it out as well. So a like always helps if you don't want to. That's all right. Uh, comment if you made it this far. Comment where you think Leonard Fournette should go if you made it this far. And I, I read all the comments, so just post anything you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.